This video is to assist in understanding of Branch Workplace Instruction WCB 2087. The commissioning process is outlined in Annex B. Action by network operators after completion of the installation works and cancellation of AA include check the high voltage terminations on the RMU. Ensure the CTs are installed to the corresponding cables. They are marked L1 to L3 and should be attached to the cables accordingly. The CTs are directional. They should be installed with the green side facing up and the red side facing down. Ensure that the blue wires from the CTs are connected to the main earth connection in the cable chamber. Once all doors are replaced on the cable end boxes, all switches on the ABB safe link are to be in the off position and select a switch in the neutral position. To remove the CT shorts, Open the LV compartment panel. Once the door is open, unplug the local remote switch connector and remove the door. To remove the CT shorts, loosen the screws. Remove the short by pushing it down into the open position. You must remove the shorts on all sets of CTs. Reinstall the door and don't forget to plug in the connector to the local remote switch. Close the door and tighten the Allen key. Make sure the remote local switch on the ABB safe link is in the remote position. Check the control cables from the RMU are firmly connected to the SCADA control box. When commissioning, the battery must be plugged into the SCADA cubicle. You must remove the box. It is a two-person lift. It needs to be sat on the ground and on its back. This will allow access into the box to plug the battery in. Open the box. Quick overview inside the SCADA cubicle. We have the battery, we have the modem, we have the power supply, the LV circuit breaker, the head unit and the switch controllers. This is called a Phoenix plug. These external connection plugs are not interchangeable. They are designated to each individual switch. The LV supply to the SCADA cubicle comes in through the grommet and into the circuit breaker. This is the battery lead. It plugs into here. Confirm that the antenna is positioned on the top right hand side of the HV end of the substation cubicle. Connect the battery plug into the battery charger terminal. Once the battery is plugged in, power lights will illuminate on the power supply. Ensure the circuit breaker is off in the SCADA cubicle. Once the battery is plugged into the battery charger terminal, there will be a 7 minute delay to allow for the RTU and modem to power on and boot up. You will liaise with the system operator to conduct a remote operation of the SCADA unit. A number of remote operations will be performed. If for some reason you need to operate it locally, flick it from remote to local using the arrestor, operate it as per standard procedure. Once all tests and checks are completed, the initial commissioning actions by network operators will commence. Once you have supply to the transformer, go to the LV end, check supply and insert the LV fuse in the LV fuse panel for the SCADA unit. Test and prove the LV polarity at the circuit breaker in the SCADA cubicle. Once polarity is checked, turn the circuit breaker on in the SCADA cubicle. Confirm the remote local switch on the SafeLink unit is in the remote position.